Inmate busted on video trying to smuggle this shank. It's just one of the ways that new surveillance cameras are paying off in the troubled Santa Clara County Jail. KPI X5's Len Ramirez is live at the jail with the evidence of other crimes caught on camera. Len? Well, Ken, we were just inside the jail, and there are cameras, cameras everywhere. There's only two spots where they can't have cameras, and that's in individual jail cells, and the other spot is uh, in the showers. But practically everywhere else, 24-7, the cameras are rolling. From the main pods where the inmates spend their days to the sport courts where they exercise, all angles at Santa Clara County's main jail are now covered by cameras. We firmly believe that these cameras um, so far have uh, are worth their weight in gold, if not more. Since installing 270 new cameras over the last four months, the assistant sheriff says they've helped solve an inmate assault case by identifying suspects and helped clear a correctional deputy falsely accused of brutality. They were also used to help discover an inmate's makeshift knife known as a shank. Cameras captured it being passed by an inmate under a cell door. But they're there, they're working, they're recording everything. The death of inmate Michael Tyree last August, allegedly at the hands of three correctional deputies, exposed gaps in the old surveillance system. Frustrated, Sheriff Lori Smith used her own credit card to buy an off-the-shelf system from Costco, and a week later it paid off, capturing an inmate gang fight. Increasing surveillance of inmates and deputies is one of the reforms ordered by a blue ribbon commission. Deputies say the new cameras have not changed inmate behavior, but may be changing how the correctional staff works for the better. These cameras are just a, a, an additional layer of transparency to show the community that we're not afraid to videotape our deputies as they work. The new system cost the county $20,000, but it's considered an interim system. A more robust system is what the county really wants, uh, something with better storage and faster playback, but the price tag on that is about $12 million. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.